Hey Trader Shane from Gen2 Futures and FX. I just wanted to explain just the rollover process and making sure that our traders are rolling over to the correct month. Now one of the the easiest way to do this is obviously there's plenty of information out there on the first notice date and and when contracts need to roll over. But the, the very easiest way to do this is basically to look at your trade station charts and you'll see on the continuous contract that that trade station will generally give you uh, the current contract that should be traded. So on this soybean strategy, if I look at the continuous chart, which is at S and it's a 75 share bar, the continuous contract is telling me that it's the November contract that I should be trading. So that's SX14. Now the previous contract was that we had on here was July so it's not necessarily the next month but the most active month because if you have a look at the volume at the moment on the the current month which is uh, July you've got volume of 586 this is real time and then on this November contract you've actually got a volume of 9136 so all the volumes in this this month here so that's where you're going to want to be trading and you'll you'll be advised as well with through trade station so if you go to view and go into the message center and you should see it pop up anyway you can see that there's messages on different related topics but they will generally send out trade station will generally send you out a an update just to tell you when the first notice date is for rollover so here it says first notice day for the following contracts is June 30 2014 so markets like soybean soybean meal soybean uh, oats rice corn wheat uh, heating oil you've got all of the uh, the markets that are rolling over listed there and it's telling you that the first uh, first notice day for rolling over is the 30th of June which was already passed so you should have rolled over to the next contract month based on this notice that was sent out. What you want to do is when, you, when you're when you advised of the first notice date, you want to be rolling your contracts and then going into TradeStation to determine what is the next, what really is the next most liquid month for me to trade. And uh, you'll see that when you obviously uh, go into TradeStation. Now the quickest way to look at what the, uh, the next potential tradable month is, if even if you go onto your chart, so you right click your chart and go format symbol, within TradeStation if you go to look up and then if you go to your custom futures and type in soybeans, it'll tell you what months should be traded. So you've got July which we've already, we're, we're already in July, so it's obviously not that month. August, September, so August, September and November are your options. So you're selecting out of those months which one is the most liquid and most heavily traded contract month and uh, in this example it's November and TradeStation automatically sets up November as a continuous chart, the most actively traded chart, so that's a chart that we would be trading. Alright traders, that was just a quick tip on rollover, so just remember you want to be on that first notice date, you want to be rolling your contracts, making sure that you're uh, moving to the most liquid month to, uh, to trade. That was just a trade station quick tip, thanks for your time and we'll catch you on the next update, cheers. Thanks for joining us today traders, if you'd like to become part of our team in 2014, all you need to do is contact either myself or Luke at info at gmtfutures.com and we can get you started pretty much straight away. So if you've always wanted to become a professional trader and you want to start using a uh, high performance automated system then uh, definitely send us an email info at gmtfutures.com or shane at gmtfutures.com or you can either give us a call at 617-336-00875 and we can get you started straight away. So any questions feel free to send them through otherwise have a fantastic day and I look forward to catching you on the next update. Cheers.